you claim that there is no need for an IT security industry that sells as various security software and hardware. Why do you think so? So I think as uh, the IT industry matures, as people look towards solutions instead of technology, that security will fade into the background as a separate product. So for example, on Facebook, you have no idea what kind of security they're using. And you don't actually care. Right? You just want Facebook to be secure and you want the company to do it for you. And that's happening more and more in computers. And as that happens, the security industry stops being consumer industry and starts being a business to business industry. Do you have any internet security software installed on your laptop? Uh, I do have security software installed on my laptop, certainly, of course. I, I have uh, full disk encryption, I have a personal firewall, and I use my laptop in a lot of countries and a lot of public networks, so I try to keep it secure. Uh, many say that open source software is by nature more secure than, than proprietary software because the source code is freely available to anyone and there is a large community of developers behind it. Do you agree with it? So open source isn't automatically secure. Source co code that's been evaluated has been, is secure. And there are two ways to evaluate it, right? You can hire a lot of people to examine your code for security, which is what Microsoft does, or you can put the code out in public and hope people look at it. Now, if people look at it, it's, you'll find vulnerabilities, you'll find bugs, you'll fix it, it'll be more secure. But if people don't look at it, it'll just be just as bad as if it's closed source and, and nobody looks at it. So open source is another path for evaluation. It doesn't automatically mean something is more secure. It is hot news that Google has fired an employee after it turned out that he had been snooping into users' private data by peeping into some teenagers' Gmail and Google Voice accounts. Uh, this may be the first such case at Google, but at other companies that collect and store user data, uh, there have been many such scandals, not to mention those that we don't know about. Uh, is there a solution for this problem? Now, this is a hard problem because these are trusted users. Now, traditionally, it has been policemen looking up, you know, their girlfriends or, or friends in, in police databases. Now we're seeing employees at tech companies being able to look at email and chat and other private data of, of friends and, and people they know. The solution is to audit, but you're not going to stop it before the fact. You know, fundamentally, these are trusted people acting in a non-trustworthy manner. And, and there's not a lot of, of easy ways to solve that problem. Uh, the internet seems to undermine privacy and copyright and forces us to reconsider how we think about these. Do we have to worry about this? You know, I think technology is changing the face of privacy enormously. And I, I, we really should think about it. I mean, right now we're just sort of letting it happen. We're letting the natural collection of data to go on unabated. We're letting corporations to deliberately manipulate our privacy expectations for, for profit. I think we'd be much better off having a discussion as a society on what we value and what about privacy we value and what we're willing to give up. So the more we have that deliberately, the better we're going to make uh, where we're headed. Nowadays it's a real, change, a real challenge to remember all the passwords that we use for various services, especially if we try to change them regularly. How to cope with this? So passwords have been a perennial problem. Uh, I mean, there's a couple of advices people give that aren't very good. First one is change your passwords regularly. Uh, that advice is old, don't do that. The second one is don't write your passwords down. I think uh, you should write them down. We're actually very, very good at securing small bits of paper. So my advice is to take your passwords, write them down in a small piece of paper, and put them with the rest of your valuable small pieces of paper in your wallet, and keep them safe there. Uh. It has been the second time now that Google Engineer published the vulnerability he had found in Microsoft product. Uh, what do you think about this IT security spat between Google and Microsoft? Microsoft believes that the engineer's practice is both unethical and dangerous, while the engineer claims that the software company is negligent and slow to fix vulnerabilities. Oh, I think Microsoft is just complaining because they, they, uh, you know, they found a vulnerability. Uh, in general, researchers disclosing vulnerabilities is a good thing. I mean, yes, there's a Microsoft-Google rivalry, but I don't think this is really relevant to that at all. And the last personal question. Uh, do you have any personal icon or idol in the history of security writer security? You know, I don't. I'm, I'm not a, a, an idol sort of person, so there's, there's no, one, no one comes to mind. Thank you very much, and please sign a, a book of you, Schneier, on security for our readers, and this will be a gift for them. Um, here's a plan. <laughs>